Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. That's a mouthful. I recently got a giant PR package from Revlon and included this foundation. And of course, you know, new foundation comes in, I gotta wear test it because that's how I roll. I actually have a ton of new products here from them. I'm going to go through each of those products, show you what they came out with, just so that if there's anything in here that you guys want to see after this video that you want me to dedicate a video to, I can definitely do that. This video is about the foundation, but we are going to see some of the other products. We are going to see what the deal is with this foundation. If it does what it says it's going to do, how it wears, you know the drill, all the goods, all the news, all the deets. So without further ado, if you want to see the new products from Revlon, see the deal with this foundation, see if it's good, see if you should get it, then keep on watching. Okay, so my skin is prepped. I have primer on. I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Primer, the, the glowy one. I can't remember the name of it, but I've been loving it, and I know that it works well with foundations that I love. I wanted to use primers that I already know and love. I also filled in my pores with the Benefit Pore Professional. So here we go. Here is all the foundations. This is the top row of the PR package with all the different products that they sent. So I need to pick a shade. Natural beige kind of looks like it might work. This is the next one up and it looks lighter. Uh, maybe it's more yellow. Maybe natural has more like pinky undertones. All right, I'm gonna go with natural tan because I, I really feel like that from the bottle looks like it's the closest match, but I don't know. So we're gonna try and see if this one works. All right, so here is what the applicator looks like. It's a sponge, and I feel like the idea was to have this be your beauty blender instead of a beauty blender, but it's a little too dense for that, I feel like. And how are you gonna wet it? This actually looks like it's going to be the perfect match. I'm really glad that I went with that color. So I'm just going to put this on my little tray. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge and I'm going to apply a layer on one side of my face. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're just gonna go in. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be a good match, I think, as long as it doesn't oxidize. Because if it oxidizes, then I'm screwed. But man, that was a good color match. Okay, so that is one layer on this side of my face. And you guys, I gotta be honest. That's really pretty. I was not expecting... Oh, I gotta blend it a little better down my neck here. Hold on. I really was not expecting it to look this good. Wow. It's kind of a satiny, a little bit of a luminous finish. Mm, no, it's not luminous. I don't know how to explain. It's not matte, but it's not like truly luminous. It's It's got a bit of a glow to it, but like nothing crazy. I'm going to apply the foundation to the rest of my face and we're gonna take a look at it and then I'm gonna read you some specs on it. So it definitely feels like it's a, it's slippery. Like you can see it looks a little bit luminous right now when you first put it on, but then on the other side, it looks like it's set and it feels like it's set. So I think you got to give it a minute to like dry down and set, but I'm into this. All right. So Revlon sent over this book with all of the new products and the specs. So let me pull up the foundation. Here is the little pamphlet on the foundation. It says Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation, your own photo filter in a bottle, a next generation foundation with a built-in blender that makes it easy to create a flawless finish anytime, anywhere. The innovative formula mimics the effects of app filters for a picture perfect look. The formula with a high definition filter technology captures and transforms light to create a soft focus effect. Shake before use, twist the bottom until dispensed for best results, dot 
the foundation all over the face and then buff outwards. To clean, wipe off excess with dry tissue. Use the blender over and over, no need to wash. Really? Okay. So, the key features and benefits. Unique built-in blender, its shape fits the curves of your face to help with application. The sponge is treated with an antimicrobial, so I guess that's to help prevent any bacteria from growing on the sponge. I guess that's why they're saying that it's okay to use. I feel like one layer was pretty full coverage. It's calling it medium buildable. Yeah, I mean, I got a good coverage. Innovative formula works with your skin type and texture to even and smooth skin with HD filter technology blurs and softens imperfections so the skin looks flawless in any light. Fresh faced natural finish all day wear. There are 12 shades and this foundation is $17.99. Um, that's expensive for the drugstore I feel like, but I'm looking at this and kind of obsessed. Like you can see now that it, it did dry down and set. I want to test this little applicator. So since they say it's antimicrobial, let me try building the foundation up and I'm going to use this thing to do it. It takes a little bit of, you know, you have to really press because if you do dispense too much, this isn't super porous the way that, I mean it is, but it's much firmer than a beauty blender, so it doesn't absorb as much product. You know, when, you, when you're using a sponge, it's absorbing excess product, and this isn't absorbing that much. So I really had to push down to get it to really pick up the excess product, but once it did, it looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. This is, I'm, I can't even believe how beautiful this looks. So that's with two layers and it layered perfectly. It's still setting that second layer. It's not cakey anywhere. It's not settling anywhere. Initial application, first impression, I'm obsessed. Like I love the way that it went on. I love the finish. I feel like my skin looks Good. I really like this, you guys. I feel like the price point is a little steep for drugstore. I feel like the drugstore needs to settle down with their prices going up and up. Yes, their products are getting better and better, but the point of them is to be the more affordable products. So make us great products, but keep the price low. That's why we love you. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of just show you guys the rest of the products in this PR package that I got. There are two highlight palettes, Sunlit Dream and then there's Galaxy Dream. That one's a holographic. This one is more like golds and champagnes. And then I also have this Photo Ready Prep Set Spray Mist setting spray that I definitely want to also try out. There are a couple of color correctors here, um, but I don't really color correct very often. I don't really feel like I need to color correct right now. This foundation worked so well. And then this is the rest of the package that I got. So we have some lip plumping lip creams. We have some color stay liquid liners. Brow, what does that say? Brow mousse, ooh, intrigued. And we have some eyeshadows and nail polishes. These nail polishes look really pretty. So let's see what else is in here that we can, okay, so they have a color stay brow kit supposed to provide 24 hour wear. Hmm. This is a wet dry powder designed to deliver versatility and style your brows with long wearing results. Color stay brown mousse, brow mousse. This really looks interesting. It says build color and volume to enhance your brows without any harsh lines, introducing a unique flow through 360 degree bristle brow brush that grooms, builds color and sets brows all in one step. Ooh. That sounds cool. It says 24 hour wear, waterproof formula, wears all day without smearing or smudging. Ideal for users with medium to thick brows. 
that is this girl yes there are five shades blonde soft brown auburn dark brown and soft black and then we have the color stay exactify liquid liner these are the roller liners i mean it says that there's a vinyl finish which tells me it's going to be shiny I don't know if I'm gonna like that. I haven't tried these wheel tips. I actually have one from Nude Sticks that I've been wanting to try. It says they la they're highly pigmented and they last up to 24 hours, so no skipping, precise line. They have a Color Stay eyeshadow primer. Formula wears up to 24 hours, non-drying, non-greasy. Says that it creates a crease-free eyeshadow that stays vibrant and lasts all day. Then we have 16-hour wear eyeshadow quads. There are eight shade combinations. We have seductive, which is really pretty purples. Precocious, which is deeper purples. Addictive, which look like they're kind of neutral browns. And then we have Moonlit here. Also looks a little bit on the neutral. Those ones are a little bit more like gray. And these ones are a little bit more like brownie totes. We have Siren. That looks super smoky. Like a good smoky eye. And then this one is Adventurous. This one I'm the most interested in. It has that olive green color and I'm kind of obsessed. It looks really pretty. Decadent, which are like more blush tones, and then passionate, which are blues. Now, if you guys watched my eyeshadow declutter, you know that I don't really get down with eyeshadow quads. It's just not really my thing. I like palettes. I like big palettes. But I think these two I'm the most interested in giving a try. So we'll see. It does say that the formula is crease proof, smudge proof, fade proof, 16 hour wear. These I'm really excited about. These are plumping lip creams. There are 10 shades. Have instantly fuller, smoother looking lips, visibly enhances the size and shape of lips over time. Lips appear more sculpted and curvaceous, pleasantly cooling sensation for a gentle plumping effect. I'm gonna, I wanna try these. It says that it's formulated with Volulip. This new lip cream is designed to deliver instantly fuller, smoother looking lips, visibly enhancing the size of lips over time, while creating a pleasant cooling sensation for a gentle plumping effect. Okay, so can we stop and talk about how the foundation looks like it's slightly oxidized? Now I look a little bit Oompa Loompa, I think. I can't tell because of these lights, but it looks like it might have oxidized a little bit. All right, so what else? Oh, the Revlon Holochrome Nail Collection. Eight shades, four holographic, and four chrome. Ooh, I am down for the chrome. Formulated without formaldehyde, formaldehyde resin, DBP, Cam4 or Torline. They're formulated with innovative microfoil pigment. One of the colors' names is Unicornucopia. Okay, so these are the holographic colors. You have Fairy Dust, Unicornucopia, Galactic Pink, and Hologasm. And then these are the chrome shades. We have Molten Magic, which is the silver here. Then we have Gilded Goddess, which is this one that looks, oh my God, so good. We have Blushing, which is this rose gold color, also looks beautiful. And then this one, Amethyst Smoke. Next, we have the Photo Ready Correctors that I already showed you. It says they neutralize imperfections, target your most common skin tone concerns, 3D color correcting pigments, and then the Photo Ready Palettes. Sunlit Dream gives a sunlit glow while Micro Shimmer Powder creates a luminous effect from a lit within glow. So I don't think they're meant to be super like beaming. I think they're meant to be like more of like an ethereal glow. Choose your level of glow intensity. So I guess you can layer them. Can we look at this? Is this oxidizing or is this just me? I'm glad I'm sitting here without my makeup done so that I can watch this because I'm fairly certain that just oxidized so much. <laughs> the setting mist. Formulated to work as a primer, a setting spray, and a refreshing mist. Whether you apply it under your makeup for a smoother, even base, or as a last step to your freshly applied look. The Salon Series Slant Tweezers. So these are designed and engineered by master craftsmen in 
Solingen, Germany, known as the City of Blades, for its history of fine precision metal works since medieval times, crafted to be the finest beauty tools you'll ever love. They sent these like cute little patterns. There's a polka dot one and a stripe one. I think I covered all of the new products. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to finish my makeup and I will be right back to show you what that all looks like and see how my other products play. I think we'll try on some other things. We're gonna try the highlighting palette for sure and the setting spray, so I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so here I am. All of my makeup is on. This is what the foundation looks like. And I think I think it looks really good actually yeah it did oxidize and I was a little worried for a minute there but actually it looks pretty good with all of my other makeup on I think the finish is beautiful I don't even think I needed to do that second layer I think maybe it was a little too much I mean it looks fine but I just don't think that I needed to do that I think one layer would have been enough but for the purposes of the video I just wanted to see but I really like this. It does dry down really matte though. It does look pretty matte to me, but I think it looks nice. I mean, it's full coverage AF. I've had it on now for about three hours because I've been filming other videos and um, it's not settling into lines. It's not bunching or caking here. I'll tell you what, it's better than the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. Just saying. I don't know, I like it so far. I'm going to put on that um, highlight. So this is the Sunlight Dream palette that I had mentioned. Here are the colors again. So I think I'm going to go into this shade right here. I'm just going to... I think it will go nice with what I have going on here. I was doing festival vibes. And yeah, so these are very sheen-like. They're not a glittery formula. They're very soft. Ooh, that color is not really good for that area right there. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this guy. Ooh, but they are pretty. I'm doing a festival look, so who cares? <laughs> you can go crazy when it's festival. But it's hard to it's just hard to tell what these colors are gonna be. Ooh, I think I like that one. The best so far, I think, is this guy right here, actually. And I thought that was, like, had a green undertone to it. But it's actually really pretty. Wow. These did not swatch good, you guys, but it's applying beautifully. So I did a layer of this one, then this one, then this one on this side. And this side, I'm going to just go in with that lighter one just to see. Yeah, that's the color right there. Oh, that's beautiful. This one. Yes. I like this. Super pretty. I'm going to set with the photo prep set refresh. Ooh. Ooh, got it in my mouth. Um, yeah, the mister is amazing. That was really, really like fine mist. That smell is very strong. I wasn't expecting that, <laughs> but it feels nice. I almost feel like I need more. It almost doesn't feel as wet as normal setting spray. You know, I'm used to feeling wet on my face and then having to let it dry for a second. And this is so micro fine that it doesn't feel wet. I like it so far. I mean, I don't know about the staying power. That's going to take me some time to know. But so far, I like it. I wanted to do like this fest cute festival hair look. And I couldn't because I'm packing. And I packed away all my bobby pins and hair elastics. So that's good. That was good. Okay, so I am going to wear this foundation for the rest of the day. I've got stuff to do. Um finishing up a couple more videos. What else do I have to do? I have to do cardio. I have to go run errands. So I'm going to wear this foundation and I will check in with you at the end of the day, let you know how it worked out. In terms of all of the products, I still have a lot of products to test out of this collection. Obviously, I did this video is really just about the foundation, but I wanted to show you the entire collection 
If there are products in this collection that are piquing your interest that you want me to explore, leave me a comment down below and let me know. I will do a one last check-in at the end of the day and let you know how the foundation did, how it looks. I'm probably not going to be home. I'm probably going to be at my boyfriend's house. So I don't know how that lighting's gonna be, but I'm going to really aim to try. Worst case scenario, I will check in tomorrow and I will put it on my face again and I'll let you know. So either way, I will check in with you in a bit. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I wasn't able to do a check-in last night. I should have known better because when I'm at my boyfriend's, it's damn near impossible for me to be able to do a check-in. But I did put the foundation on again today. I've been wearing it all day. I did look at the foundation last night and really examine it to see like what I thought about it, how it was wearing and everything. So here is what I've got for you. I really like it. Let's just start there. I did wear the foundation all day today and it is almost five o'clock. So today I actually only put one layer on and I don't know if you can tell, but it really didn't oxidize the, today the way that it did yesterday. I really think that one layer of the foundation is plenty. So I am glad that I did another day just so I could kind of compare one layer to two. So this is just the one layer. I really like it. It did last, it looked beautiful last night. I took it off at about 9.30 I think and it still looked great. It's not really settling into lines. It doesn't look cakey. Coverage is beautiful and it lasts. So, you know, for a drugstore foundation, I think it's really good. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think? Do you think it looks nice or do you think like other foundations look better? I, I personally, I'm into it. I like it. It gets two thumbs up for me. I would be willing to stick this in the full coverage face off. The Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation gets my stamp of approval. I like it. I'm going to continue to wear it and I will update you guys. I will let you know if like I run into any problems with it. Like it doesn't cake around the nose or anything. It's not patchy. It doesn't wear off in places it doesn't bunch up here it doesn't settle into lines like i just think it looks really nice another little quick update is i did put this kiss plumping lip cream on my lips today this is in the shade barely blush it is a very cooling effect but it's not burning that said, I have a lip liner, I have a liquid lip, and then I have this on. So I don't know, it could be because I have those layers between my lips. I did not apply this directly to my lips. But so far, I think it's really pretty. Before I let you guys go, I just wanted to surprise you with an impromptu giveaway. A lot of these products that I got are not my shade or like I got the entire collection. So I wanted to give some of the products back to you guys. I am moving. I can't take it all with me. All I could, but the less I have to move, the better. And I'm, why am I going to move products that aren't my right shade? So I would love to give them back to you guys. So we're going to do a giveaway. There's going to be one winner. You're going to get to pick your shade in some products. I will give you that list of products that are available once you win all you have to do to enter is to be subscribed to my channel leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite spring makeup item like when spring comes what is the one makeup item that like you can't wait to break out for spring leave that in the comments down below and that is it you're entered to win i'll be announcing the winner probably by the end of the month because that's when I'm moving and I will ship this package out so I don't have to pack it in my moving truck. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If there are any products in this video that you would like to see a dedicated video to, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on social. My handle is Latte. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I kind of quit Snapchat, so... I'm over it. So if you guys want to find me, Instagram, Insta Stories, that's where I spend most of my time on social. So make sure you're following me over there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.